friends myself vivul patel today's our topic is breaking of induction motor there are different type of breaking mechanical breaking plugging dynamic breaking and regenerative breaking first mechanical breaking mechanical breaking is a basically a friction breaking it is only preferred at low speed operation plugging plugging is nothing but counter current breaking it is achieved by interchanging any two phases of stator supply as the phase sequence is changed the rmf that is rotating magnetic field starts rotating in anti clockwise direction whereas due to inertia rotor continue to rotate in clockwise direction induced voltage and current in the rotor change the direction due to change in the direction of rotor current the rotor experience a force in the anti clockwise direction due to this force acting on a rotor the rotor speed reduce quickly as soon as the rotor stop rotating means n equal to 0 the original phase sequence should be restored to avoid stop rotating in anti clockwise the motor current is high and motor heating take place in this mode of operation as we see this is a rb r rby connection means this b and y are interchanged so that's why the rmf direction of rmf is changed and due to that the breaking torque is in reverse of the rotor direction that's why the rotor feel the force now next is dynamic braking <clears throat> dynamic braking is also known as dc injection braking three phase induction motor which is running at speed n is first disconnect from the three phase supply and connect dc supply as shown in figure this is a star connected stator in which you can see this are the star connected stator first the star connected stator is disconnect and connect with the dc supply connect with the dc supply and this is the rotor windings another connection is a delta connection here you can see this is the delta connected stator winding and this is the dc supply this is the rotor windings as the dc current flowing through the stator winding dc current flow through the stator winding producing a stationary magnetic field rotor continues to rotate due to inertia in this stationary magnetic field which induced a voltage in rotor due to this induced voltage rotor current flows which also sets up a stationary field with respect to the stator the interconnection sorry the interaction of the field and rotor current produce a torque in the reverse direction causing breaking action the magnitude of breaking torque depend on field strength set by stator winding and rotor speed and rotor resistance thus the magnitude of breaking torque can be controlled by controlling the dc voltage applied to the stator and rotor resistance adjustment now next is regenerative braking for the regenerative braking to take place the induction motor work as generator and the kinetic energy convert into electrical energy return back to the ac supply from this graph you can see in the x axis indicate the speed and on the y axis torque as this sc indicate the critical slip when the speed of motor is less than the synchronous speed then 
the mod rotor is in motoring action <clears throat> when the mo motor speed means speed of n is equal to speed of n is greater than the synchronous speed at this position the motor work as a generator this portion is called regenerative braking due to that the induction motor work as generator if and only if slip s is negative means a motor speed is greater than the synchronous speed therefore with a fixed frequency operation this braking is possible only for speed greater than the n s synchronous speed but when variable frequency source it can also be obtained it can also be obtained for speed below the synchronous speed Thank you for watching this video.